Hey guys, welcome back. So now that we've got a project set up in Browsio, we can go and start creating a profile. So let's do that. Open up the project. The uh, project that you just opened up, you could just double click it or hit the open button as long as it's highlighted or right click. And you've got a whole bunch of other options there. We'll go through that in a minute. But right now we're just looking at how to use the browser and what the options in the browser are. So double click that, that'll open up a project for you. And you can either keep this closed like that, depends on what you want, or open, you know, whatever. I like to keep it closed when, I, when, I'm, when, I'm, when I'm just using it as a browser, pure browser. So anyway, here is what we have. We have the share options, which I'll show you in a minute, but it's pretty straightforward. You can, you can share immediately to any of these networks. And don't forget, because you are logged in on a special, on a unique proxy to each profile, you can share it directly um, to each of these profiles. Okay, now there is the save button. And what this will do is we'll save the URL that is in the, um, in the, in the address bar there. And you can edit the name, which I suggest you do, like, you know, this would be Google DE. And then you can even edit that URL down and then save it, right? And if you have a folder that you wanted to save it into, then that's also great. You can put it into that, into that folder. And when that's saved, that will appear over here. So you have the little plus button and that will appear here. You have all the saved sites um, here. And I have a whole bunch of pre, I have a whole bunch of uh, other uh, presets that I've done. I've created in another project and you can do that as well. It's very easy. What you do is, is you import from another project. You go click that. Here, what I did was, is I just clicked import bookmarks and I'm gonna go to another project here, import that from another project. All my projects are gonna come here in a drop down. And what I've done here is I've actually just created a project, social site import. And that's got all of the uh, popular sites that I like to import and work with, right? So all the blogs, the emails, uh, which you can see I've imported here, social sites, which is here, and all of the Sinwire sites um, that we created that are already uploaded to Sinwire that you can then come back and you know get a little bit manual with them and maybe log into um, some of these Sinwire accounts and uh, and use Browsio for what it is. You know, like if you've got a Twitter account, you want to interact a little bit. You don't want to just be posting, so you can quickly log into your Twitter account and um, so on and so forth. Get involved. Tumblr, same thing. You know, go into the, the blogs. And Tumblr has got a whole bunch of options in there to generate traffic on itself, but I'm gonna be getting into that in completely separate um, videos altogether, how to actually use Browsio to generate traffic using these individual sites in the right way. Okay, so what else is there in the browser that you need to know about? There's this here, you have the uh, reminder. So if you do a comment on a blog, which you've either found in the prospector or you've just come across a blog, um, then what you do is, is you just come, you do, you, you, you right click on that blog that you've just saved. What you do is, is you save the place where you've commented. Okay. Let's just say this was it. Okay. So we've saved the comment. It appears there. This is the comment. You right click that set reminder, and then you come back, check comment live. So you want to just check if the comments live, set a date and a week later. So you can totally forget about that. Oh yeah, okay, that's right, because we've it's all of these funny URLs, so we've just got to edit that out. So Google DE, and then we shouldn't have all of these silly characters in there anyway. So set reminder, check comment live, and I want to just come back in a week, and there you go, it's set, and it's going to remind you, and you every time you come in here. You can see there a whole list of all of the reminders and there you have it. Okay, that's it for the browser. It is just, again, just a regular browser, but it's all unique to you because it's on each individual, each browser, each project does is on a completely unique proxy, don't forget. So all of these options are unique to each instance, right? So when you hit share here, when you're open in a new project, you're gonna be sharing to whatever profile you're open in. And we're gonna be adding more share buttons as well. Okay, so that is it for this module. I'm gonna end the video here, and in the next module, I'm gonna show you how to use the prospector.